This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And welcome back to 5 Minutes Subnautica, where we cover a topic on Subnautica in 5 minutes or less. And today, I'm going to show you the absolute easiest way to find your way to the Lost River and the inactive lava zone. The best advice I can give to start with is to wait until you get the radio signal for Life Pod 2. That is going to make it the absolute easiest for you to find the entrance. Uh, there are some other ways that I'm going to show you, but I would wait till you get the signal. You can get that signal to trigger by entering the Deep Grand Reef or building a, uh, a thermal plant. And then you can just go retrieve it from your radio and find it that way. And I will show you Life Pod 2 when we get there. The other way you can do it is uh, go to the surface of the water, get out of your uh, sea moth and just hover on the surface of the water like this and move around till you see this shell that's sticking up out of the water it's a really good land marker and uh, once you see that get in your sea moth look at your compass up at the top position yourself directly in the middle of north and northwest right in the middle just like that you can see I have a beacon right there for it so you position yourself in that direction and then just keep going straight in that direction and just stay low to the ground because that's the easiest way you're gonna find this Okay, so provided that you kept your compass right in the middle of the north and northwest, you should, and stay low to the ground, you should be right about this area. When you see this area here and you got this nice big ledge here and it just drops off straight down, then you know you're in the right spot. If you waited until you got the signal for Life Pod 2 and you followed that over here, here is Life Pod 2 and you're directly over top of it. All you want to do is position yourself till you see this giant cave entrance right there. See that? cave entrance that I'm I'm tracing out here. If you just set your sea moth right on the top of this thing and you spin around in a circle, you can't miss it. It's that giant cave entrance right there. So we're gonna head towards this cave entrance and this is it. This is how you get to the Lost River and the inactive lava zone. You're just gonna go back into this cave here and look for this giant See this giant blood root pillar, whatever it's called, this thing right here. You want to find that and then just kind of position yourself straight with it like you see here and then just head straight back. Now, there's a lot of stuff in here that, you know, is a little dangerous and probably wants to eat you, but just keep moving. <laughs> and you will see, you'll eventually hit this wall. Now just turn a little bit this way, a little bit to the left, and follow the wall back, and you will see this river right here. See this river and how it dips? Now you're just gonna go straight down. Once you follow that river all the way down and you see that, that skeleton over there, hug the wall, you are in the Lost River right now. This is it. It heads on all, all the way back that way and it continues this way. But we're going to hug the wall and stay to the right. Just hug this wall and go straight back. And if you just follow this all the way around here, you can see that right there is the entrance to the inactive lava zone. Now I'm in creative, so I'm gonna take this all the way down here and continue to show you, but you wouldn't be able to go this far down with the uh, the sea moth here, but we're gonna go ahead and go down this way anyway. 
and that's it. That's the inactive lava zone. So that is how easy it is to find. It is so easy to find. It, you may think it's a little difficult at first, and it really was for me till I found that entrance, because there's other entrances, but that one is honestly the absolute easiest one to find. Just wait till you get the life pod too. Once you get that signal, you can find the entrance so easy. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my Patreon supporters for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.